Welcome, today we are looking at the Off-Grid Knives Scorpion. This is the Matrix Blackout version. Blackout being the coating on everything, Matrix being the gold leaf inlay we have here. This is billed as a hard use knife. Off-Grid Knives makes hard use knives. I want to talk about what this knife is, what this knife isn't, and who it might be good for. So what this knife is, is large, right? It's a big folder. I'll put it next to my standard 0452 carbon fiber there. You can see it's a large folder <clears throat> next to a griptilian again. It's a lot bigger than that. Next to a Benchmade shootout. Again, a lot bigger than that. Uh, next to a Hogue Deca. Way larger of a knife than that. But that's no surprise, right? The deck is kind of a small knife. And next to finally a SOG Seal XR, which is another very large knife. So it's a big knife. It is also versatile. So this blade shape is kind of like a modified worn cliff almost, but somewhat like a clip point. I like it because it has there's a lot of straight edge for slicing. The 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 kickback on the point is not too kickback so it's a very versatile very usable blade shape given that it's about four inches long really makes it a nice knife to use it is smooth right this flipper is one of the best flipper actions that i have used it's it's smooth it's solid when it locks up it clicks into place nicely it is ergonomic right this knife very comfortable in the hand when i was doing my push cutting and things the edge retention testing absolutely no hot spots or discomfort or anything like that it's well designed and it shows that somebody made this to be a using knife and not just decorative so love that about it it does retain an edge well uh, this did 350 cuts in my edge retention test before it started to go dull on the paper. That's good even for M390. It has an M390 blade, titanium frame lock handle, uh, all titanium too. This is just kind of solid titanium everywhere. I'm not sure if that inlay is got much thickness to it. It feels like it's pretty much right on the titanium. Uh, it does have a good coating. This is a DLC coating should last, shouldn't chip, shouldn't rub off very easily. So shouldn't be any concerns with that. Weight on this knife is fairly substantial. That's 4.9 ounces. So this is a heavy knife. It's not really something you're gonna carry you know, in dress slacks or something like that. You're gonna be needing some pretty significant pocketage to carry this comfortably. Let's disassemble it and get into talking about what it maybe isn't. I love the custom pivot bolt here. It's decorative, but not too decorative. It is also, interestingly enough, not magnetic. So I believe that's a titanium bolt. Uh, they have put T8 hardware everywhere on this knife, which is nice. If you're going to build a hard use knife, that's really what you should do seems to be that those bolts are also titanium that's interesting i didn't expect that not sure i'm completely down with that on a hard use knife interesting choice titanium is softer than steel it should be plenty durable it does lighten up the knife a little bit not that you'll notice because this knife is already almost five ounces There are four bolts, including the pivot, that are structural bolts on this side. So that part is pretty sturdy in the build quality department. Your titanium, as you can see, is not skeletonized. So that's a full piece of titanium. Bearings are recessed into the handle and not the blade, which is nice. Uh, well, we'll see if they're in the blade. There's a little, little thin on that titanium on the handle. There's not a whole lot left in there after the skeletonizing there's the blade fits tightly okay uh, okay so it's slightly relieved for the bearings into the handle but not by much 
Those are large bearings in a metal cage. They're not particularly wide though, so it's not real narrow, but they're not the biggest bearings. Should be okay there on a durability out of a durability concern. The stop pin you can see has been recessed around the or the blade has been recessed around the stop pin. Gives you more surface area. Again, more durability. There is the pivot. Oh, the pivot is threaded on this side too. So it looks like you have to unscrew both sides of that pivot, yes, to get it out. I believe that's keyed. We'll find out here in a second. Yeah, that pivot is keyed into that side of the handle uh, so that it won't spin on you when you're reassembling it. Kind of nice design, actually. I, I like that because it eliminates any questions about the disassembly. There's your washer, there's your stop pin, <clears throat> there's your pivot. Let's get the pocket clip out here. Pocket clip is T6, so we'll take off the pocket clip and then take off the backspacer. We'll do a full disassembly and then we'll talk about the only potential durability concern I have on this knife, because there is one but this is actually looking a lot better on the inside than I thought it would. From the outside, there was some potential concerns I had over the size of that pivot point. But now that I've taken it off and looked at it, the uh, pivot and the blade tang are actually larger than they looked from the outside. So that particular part is a big positive on this knife in terms of being a hard use knife. that I might be able to just slide this off nope gotta undo it this bolt looks like it goes directly into the titanium backspacer the other two are into kind of barrel nut sort of things but you still have to remove them all in order to get the backspacer off there's the backspacer <clears throat> you can see it's got some steel inserts in there, and they only come out one way, which is interesting. Less likely to lose them that way, though. No skeletonizing again, over travel stop, no relief hole down there. Not sure if that's a durability concern. Frame lock is incredibly stiff. This is the stiffest frame lock I've ever felt on any knife, so that part is very durable. My only durability concern about this knife is the size of the lock shelf there. Again, I harp on this with a lot of knives, but it, it bears repeating. Anytime you have a lock shelf like that and a knife is going to be a hard use knife, you want it to be as large as possible. This one, again, ZT0452 carbon fiber, a lot larger. Reich 1507 really large. That's what a shelf on a hard use knife looks like to me. That's really small. There is the potential that that could wear out relatively quickly with hard use. However, this knife does have a free replacement guarantee. So if it does wear out, you can use it with confidence. You can get it replaced for free. How long that will take, I don't know. Uh, this is an American company, but Best Tech makes the knife. So it's Chinese made, American designed. That is the only concern I would have with this really on a hard use knife. This is better than I thought it would be on the inside. So like this knife a lot, if you can deal with the weight and you don't mind the potential of that wearing, excellent hard use knife, very versatile, like it a lot, super satisfying to use. Hope you enjoyed that review. Like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, adventures, and all the fun knives.